Hey Aquarians, welcome to your love reading July 1st, excuse me, 2nd, <laughs> to the 11th. Happy Eclipse Day, by the way. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, Aquas. So, guys, oh, I'm feeling for my Aquas right now. Because when I, when I started getting into the meditative session, when I started tapping into your energy, I definitely felt like some of you were under spiritual attack. I don't say that lightly. And I only say that because I was feeling the effects of it from my end of what you guys are going through. It just felt like all of a sudden, like my head was getting squished. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of how it felt. And it was like, whoa, what the fuck is this? Um, problems with my ears, problems with my throat, almost like a swelling, like almost like an allergic reaction. But I could tell it's like it was... I could tell it was a spiritual tax and I just got, I just got so aggravated, so agitated. I'm still a little bit there. Um, Aqua, some of you, like I said, are under spiritual attack, whether you're aware of that or not. Um, and Aqua, some of you, it's like, I do feel if it's not a spiritual attack that you're experiencing, because that's only for some of you, not all of you. Um, <clears throat> there is someone you're connected to or someone in your energy field who stresses you out so much that it actually affects you physically. It's taking a toll on your body, whether you realize it or not, okay? Please pay attention to that, and especially females. I'm getting that really strong for my female Aquarians. Please pay attention to that. Whoever this person is, ugh, yuck. Stresses you out, they're very toxic. They're very toxic, and I'm also getting very vindictive, very manipulative. Please be mindful of this, Aquarians, okay? So outside of that, <laughs> Just had to say that because someone really needed to really hear that because it's not that you've been ignoring it. I think it's like you feel like you just, it's something you just have to deal with. Like it's just an obligation. It's it's someone I have to put up with. So I just do it. Aqua, you need your space from this person. Like serious. OK, um, anyway, moving on from that group. Just I really had to get that out. Um, it was interesting, Aqua, after I, I actually had to stop and like clear the energy field with some sage and then get back into my meditative session. Um, I didn't pick up on a whole lot, honestly, Aqua, except for just like some key phrases that my guides were giving me. The first one was magic dreams, <laughs> which I love. I was like, oh, I've never heard that one before. Magic dreams. Um, a lot going on in the dream space for you guys, Aqua, a lot. Um, <clears throat> and it's funny. Sorry, my throat's still jacked from that. A spiritual sh attack that you guys are going through <clears throat> aqua um and it's funny because i've noticed that there's a lot going on with aquarian energy even though i know there's nothing going on in aquarius right now yeah i'm almost positive there's something going on in aquarius right now so i thought that was kind of interesting um but yeah aqua there's a lot going on with you in the dream space and the 5d spiritually speaking and you are the star right so i mean i guess that just goes without saying you'd be experiencing something like that but i feel like some of you are having dreams with um not uh, some are having repetitive dreams it's more like repetitive people it's like you're dreaming of the same person or people some of you and if you are pay attention to that there's some there's something about that person whether you've met them in the 3d or not that's very healing for you they're going to be revealing things for you as well so pay attention to that focus on that even set the intention before you go to bed like especially if you're having trouble remembering the entire dream or the entire experience um <clears throat> right before you go to sleep um just put that out in the sphere as far as your intention is concerned put that out to the ether like tell your guides ask your guides to help you remember and to help you understand why you're seeing this person or people or dream having these kinds of dreams okay it's going to be very important for you um especially those with spiritual attacks i mean your dreams are, are highly affected highly affected then i also got some other words which were not didn't you know not super happy i heard push ahead Push ahead, push through. <clears throat> Aqua, keep pushing. What? <laughs> Shit. Aqua, again, I don't say this lightly. You've got either a lot of negative energy heading your way because of jealousy or hate or whatever, um, or again, spiritual attacks. Because it's like, I'm almost getting that feeling like someone doesn't want me to talk to you. <laughs> okay? Someone doesn't want me to get this out to you. But anyway, <clears> throat choke is all jacked now. Um, I was also getting, uh, don't look back, don't look back, push through, don't look back. Aqua, whatever it is you got to push through and away from, I feel like it's a hard decision for you. It's difficult for you to do. Oh, that, I didn't even realize I was playing with my ring like that. I almost never, I never play with my ring like that. Anyway, that was weird. Guess I'm feeling a little extra need for cell cell selenite. I said cellulite. <laughs> selenite. Um, keep pushing through, don't look back. It's funny, it almost reminds me of that song, Looking Back Now. 
And I think you're tempted to look back, Aqua, but don't. By the way, that's I don't think that song applies here, um, but it is a really good song if you guys want to check it out. It's by Maggie Rose. I love her. I love country. Anyway. Um, also, Aqua, the ball is in your court. Whatever this is, whatever crappy, gross energy is around you, and I do feel like it's from one person. Some of you, it's from a group of people. This could be family-related, very easily family-related. could also be uh, work-related or friends-related. Could be romance, but if it's romance, it's attached to a family issue. Okay, if it is romance, like I said, attached to a major family issue. Am I in focus or are my glasses dirty? I mean, my glasses are dirty. Yep, they're dirty. Sorry, guys. Sorry, that energy when I first stepped in made me a little jacked. It made me a little ADD, so just having trouble focusing. <clears throat> but balls in your court, Aqua, as far as making a decision about this issue. And I do feel like it's something you have to take on. And I, oh. I just heard you guys say it's something I shouldn't have to take on. I feel you, Aqua. <laughs> I feel, sorry, my left ear is making me crazy now. Um, mm, which is the better side. It just means I'm tapped in. My, my inner, my, you know, inner feminine, my inner divine feminine is just really on point. Um, oh. See, it's like someone, something is trying to distract me from doing this reading and it's making me nuts. <clears throat> Stick with me, Aqua. Stick with me. Stick with me. Aqua, just keep pushing through. Don't look back. Don't look back. You might feel like it's it's not your problem to deal with. And I told and I'm getting this feeling like I you have a point that you do have a point about that. But I also feel that if anyone else were to do it, they wouldn't be able to resolve it the way you can. Yeah, someone didn't want me to tell you that. <laughs> someone did not want me to tell you that. Anyway, let's keep it going. So getting to the pre-shuffle, we have Seven of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy with the Page of Wands. Nine, oh, oh, all of a sudden, I feel like all that pressure is gone. Wow. That's amazing. Nine of Wands, Sagittarian Energy. Knight of Wands in Reverse, Sagittarian Energy. Could also be Aries or Leo. A lot of Sag energy here. Uh, Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, Virgo Energy. And then we have the Fool in Reverse, Aries Energy, Aquarian Energy, because this is a Uranus card. Now... This alone is worrisome. The Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords in reverse. I feel like someone is being very antagonistic. And I feel like it's this person who's causing trouble. You got a little troublemaker in your energy field. And again, it's interesting. It's like, it's around an issue that is not yours, but it's being left up to you to resolve. And again, I could feel your resentment about that. I totally get it. I totally get it. Um, you got a little bit of a shit stir going on here. <laughs> it's like the best way to say that. I definitely feel like someone is trying to antagonize, like someone who's gotten away with a lot of bullshit coming in as a page, like someone who's a little immature, someone who's got a lot of ideas, right? And a lot of fire, a lot of passion about those ideas. Yeah, a little bit of a shit stir. Um, also, this could be news about something that someone got away with, but I feel like it's coming from the troublemaker themselves. Yeah, it's like, yeah, this person is, is up to no good. I'd be very cautious of anyone trying to butter you up or saying, oh, you know, I was thinking dot, 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 whatever they were thinking, it ain't good. <laughs> There's some other ulterior motive behind that. I'd be very careful. Be very careful with that, Aqua. Then we have this nine of wands, which I feel like is more your energy. You're on the lookout. You've, oh, okay. You've been through the shit with this person before. I think this person has really hurt you, hurt you. Wow. Uh, this is a part of character. This is a interesting person. This person, Aqua, for some of you, they have hurt you in the past. They have hurt you in the past, but they acted like they didn't mean it. Like it was accidental. They knew what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing. They wanted to hurt you. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel really good. And I think that's why you're in a nine of wands stance. Okay. Where you're just like, I've been through it with this person. I've already bought, like fought my battles. But there's something about this where you feel obligated to have to deal with them. I'm really feeling strongly this is a family issue. And you're just on the look lookout. You you know. You already know they're a shit stir. So you're like, what are they saying now? What bullshit are they saying now? I'm also getting some gossip here too. Um, and then we have Knight of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Fool in reverse. Um, definitely, like I said, feeling really strong about that family issue, family network. It, Excuse me, it could be work. It could also be work. But I'm not really feeling it's, it's, 
I'm not feeling that it's rooted in a romantic situation. If it is, it's like it's someone you're married to. You know what I mean? It's something like that. But with that Knight of Wands in reverse, I feel like that... Come back. Thank you. I'm getting unpredictable. Unpredictable volatility. It's like this person gives you anxiety. They really mess with your anxiety levels. And I feel like these, this is also for Aquas who've had a history of anxiety. Um... I'm just getting unpre unpredictability from this person. They like throwing a wrench in things and they like doing it unexpectedly. They don't even care about the consequences. I'm just hearing because they could talk their way out of it. Wow. You're dealing with a serious manipulator, Aquarius. Tread lightly. Tread lightly. They don't care about what risks they take in blowing shit up and causing some shit in the family or in the job environment because th they just manipulate. So they've manipulated people within this environment. They know how to talk their way out of it. But Aqua, you're at the nine. You're at the nine, okay? All you need is one more wand and, and you're tapping out. You're tapping out and I feel like you're really close to calling this person out on their bullshit. Yeah, you're really close to calling this person out on their bullshit. This is an interesting reading, Aqua. But anyway, that was just the pre-shuffle. Let's go ahead and get into the actual reading. Uh, <clears throat> for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. Mm, Aqua. And it's interesting too, Aqua, because I feel like you, for the most part, you've been, you know, just really focusing on your happiness. Like really just trying to focus on your inner peace. You've been trying You've been trying. And you know, we, I've said this before in my other videos, and I know I, most of my pe most of people who watch me are in the United States of America. Um, I know it was weird for me to say it like that, but that is what it is. I mean, there's a lot of United States, right? Even like United States and Mexico. Anyway, whatever. Total tangent. Aqua, why am I so distracted with you? There's a lot of distracting energy around you. And for those who go through spiritual attacks, that is actually one of the um, one of the signs. It's like you can't focus for shit. You can't focus on anything. You can't hold your own thoughts. That's definitely a sign. Anyway, um, for anybody who is struggling with that, I highly recommend you go to Angelic Guidance. Um, her channel, she talks about that a lot. She has a lot of experience with it. And she also has remedies for it that she um, has on her website. Please go check her out. She's awesome. Angelic Guidance 333. Shout out to her. Hi, if you ever watch my stuff. Anyway, Aqua, um, I want to get back into this with you, okay? Um where was I? See, it's like I'm so into your energy and I can feel some of you are in that zone of getting attacked and you can't focus. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Guides are coming back in for me. Um, you've been on the path to growth. You've been on the path to healing, getting inner peace, trying to do you. And I feel like because that's what I was saying. Because of 4th of July, um, like I said, most people watch me are in the States. We do a 4th of July in this time period. And this is, it does feel like a family issue. Again, could be work, um, but it does feel family related. And I feel like that's why this is coming up for you so strongly. I think you might be dealing with this person face to face. And I don't think you normally have to often. Wow. Ooh, any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 2nd to the 11th. Any messages for Aquarius? Sorry, why did I feel the need to grab this? Aqua, you definitely have, some of you definitely have someone coming after you spiritually. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm like, I'm so fidgety. I can't hold on to my selenite enough. I can feel how unfocused and distracted your energy is because it's coming through. It's coming through. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 2nd to the 11th. I think this person also knows how to like get you in a tizzy. I've never used that word in my life. <laughs> Someone out there uses that word a lot. I've never used that word in my life. Um, but that's what, for some of you, that's what this person does. For some of you, that's what this person does. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? <clears throat> July 2nd to the 11th. Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? July 2nd to the 11th. Aqua, you might have even, okay, for those getting spiritual attacks, like you guys are bombarding me with questions. Just slow down the questions, guys, because it's already hard to stay focused because of the aquas I'm tapped into that are getting spiritually attacked. Um, so just slow down the questions a little bit. I don't want to get too distracted here. Ah, Aqua, for those who've been under spiritual attack by this person, um, you might even have noticed that there's been a lot of change within you. Um, 
you might notice that, you know, sleeping is hard, you're getting a lot of fatigue, but then you hit a point of like plateau, like, oh, okay, I can kind of get by on no sleep, but it's affected your immune system. Like you're also being, you're a little, I don't like the word sickly. Um, it's been a lot easier for you to get sick. I'll put it that way. It's been a lot easier for you to get sick or you're having abnormal symptoms. All of a sudden I heard stomach and back, stomach and back, stomach and back. Um, oh, for some, oh, this must have been why the females came through in the beginning. For some of my females, it's also affected your sacral heavily. I, I'm feeling cramping. I'm actually feeling cramping. Oh. My condolences to anybody who's had a miscarriage. I can't say if that's because of the spiritual attacks. Um, but definitely I just picked up on some aquas that have had miscarriages. My condolences. Um, anyway, moving on. So we have a queen of swords, the first card out. Libra energy could also be air or water. I do feel like that's your energy, Aquarius. <clears throat> Any messages for Aquarius? Regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. So wish fulfillment, happiness. This is what you're trying to focus on. Like I said, right? You're trying to focus on your inner peace, what makes you really happy, what's going to bring some joy back into your life, and also some stability. I'm getting, I'm getting that like sickly energy. Oh, Aqua. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but clearly there are some people out here who really need to hear this. Um, you've been wanting it so bad. And whatever the slowdown has been physically, it's 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 left you a little a little disheartened, but you still are trying to stay hopeful. You're trying to. You're trying to. Any messages for Aquarius? The Hermit. Interesting. Virgo energy. And you know what they say about the Hermit? They always follow the star, Aquarius. I feel like this is a buddy. This is a buddy. Safety net. Oh. You know, okay, Aquas, I'm feeling like for those of you who do have partners, this is definitely your partner coming in here, shedding light on you, watching you. It's almost like, and it's interesting, it's like watching you with a loose hand. It's kind of like, like if you're in the next room, like they're just, <laughs> you know, like, how's my Aqua? Okay, they're good. My Aqua's good. My Aqua's okay. 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 You know, it's, it's really, it's really sweet. I love it. It's really sweet. They know what you're going through. They want to be there for you, but they also know that if they come in, like, to really be there for you, it might be too much and too overwhelming. Oh, see, look, the star. <laughs> Aquarian energy could also be the, and with the tower in reverse, excuse me, just got ahead of myself. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. Yeah, you've had a tower moment, Aqua. You've had a major tower moment, and I feel like it's because of this fucking shit, sir. Sorry, I'm like, this person needs to go. Um person really needs to go you need to push them out of your energy field quick um, I also feel a tower that's coming also feeling a tower that's coming and it's I, I feel like it's you hitting your breaking point and if it's about the shit star you do need to hit your breaking point I just heard enough's enough enough's enough any messages for Aquarius regarding love July 2nd to the 11th any messages for Aquarius regarding love July 2nd to the 11th. Aqu That's a lot. A big fat stack came flying out, but it came flying out. So I'll take it. It's just fat. <laughs> Any messages for Aquarius regarding love? Okay, that's it. Now we have two of cups, can't Syrian energy. So soulmate energy. Again, I'm feeling like that's your hermit here. Um, really trying to be there for you right now. Um, God, what was the other thing I was going to say? Damn it. Yeah, enough's enough. It was about that. Enough's enough. Some of you are hitting your breaking point. I feel like you're just tired of this person's antics and their mouth. Something about their mouth. You're tired of it. All right, let's look at this fat stack. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Six of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy could also be past life, karmic, soulmate energy. Someone's asking about the Hermit. So if you don't have a partner, guys, this could just be a friend. It's also you trying to um, find your way to your own healing and to be your own support system for those who are single. Uh, for some, it's another family member. 
someone to another family member. Knight of Cups, Calvary. I just heard Calvary. <laughs> Calling the troops. Some of you do have support against this person it, it, for those who where this is a main family issue. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy. And then we have the Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy, which is Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Wow, that's a lot of cards. I don't think we're going to clarify too much of that, but I can tell that this is a romance portion of it, okay, for those that that applies to. This part won't apply to everybody. Overall energy, eight, uh, not eight, six, 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 six of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, the chaos, the storm, the stress, the anxiety, the I just need to be grounded energy. You just want to be grounded, Aqua. You just want to be grounded. You just want to be grounded. You want your happy place. You don't want, you want nothing to do with this shit stir here. Um, it's, it's just been too much. It's been too much. And like I said, you've got a little buddy here. A lot of you, this is a romantic partner or spouse. Um, for some of you, it's another family member. Others, it's you trying to gather your own uh, strength and it's spiritual strength. Some of you know you're under spiritual attack. This is spiritual strength coming in um, regarding this tower energy. This person's really been slowly wearing on you. Guys, it's really taken a physical toll on a lot of you. Okay, let's look at the tower in reverse. And it's taken a while for some of you to realize that. We use Rider Weight to clarify. <clears throat> oh, I just heard someone say, this is serious. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is serious. Tell me about the tower in reverse. For Aquarius. I feel like you whistleblowing this shit stir is going to really help set you free okay really get you back into that amazing aquarian star energy okay making you it's gonna make you feel good physically again tell me about the tower in reverse <clears throat> for aquarius regarding love july 2nd to the 11th uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sign up the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. July. Okay. Ha! Wow. Oh. Haha. -ha, don't be funny with me. Um, I went to pick this up and then the four of pentacles fell out of my hand and went reverse. But I'm going to keep it upright. Capricorn energy with the tower in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because this is Mars influence. This is not letting go unable to let go aqua some for some of you this shit stir hurt you so bad that it's been really hard for you to let go of what's happened it's hard for you to get over it but i actually feel like you haven't really talked to this person that much about it to be honest um that's part of why you can't let go of it you feel like you feel like you're almost like not allowed to say anything you are you very much are allowed to say something especially if it's affecting you physically like this that's ridiculous anyway whatever um but that's also what i'm getting um a holding on, a latching on. Also, like I said, spiritual attacks. This person is perchin. This person is energetically attaching to you in a negative way. And like I said, it's like this person's very vindictive. It just makes them feel good. It makes them feel good. Just plain and simple. And like I said, for the tower that's coming, you know. It's like you know you've hit your the end of your rope. You know you can't really give much more of yourself in this situation. And that's also why you're in a very much of a blocking stance. I feel like you know that you need to protect yourself too, for some of you, energetically speaking. But you're bringing down the tower. All right, let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Tell me about the tower in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. July 2nd to the 11th. Tell me about tower in reverse for Aquarius. Regarding love, July 2nd to the 11th. I know this is not going to be for a lot of people. This is very specific. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy, and then we have judgment. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting actually a reversal of the wheel, which is very strange. A reversal of the wheel here, Aqua. This latching on to what this person has done without talking about it, without getting closure, without properly releasing it, has again, it's been taking a toll on you physically, but it's been pushing the wheel for you backwards. Like you haven't been experiencing as much success as you expected because of this. You need to purge, Aqua. You need to purge whatever this shit is. 
you need to purge it. I mean, that's why judgment's here. There's a lot of karma at play in this. Family karma, just for family karma. Wow, this is definitely a family issue. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but it's been pushing the wheel back and you need to start pushing it forward by releasing this shit, okay? And I think you're gonna release it mostly by confronting this person. It's time to lay it out on the table. I don't know why this has been, gone on as long as it has, Aqua. It feels like this has been dragged out. Ignored. They just said ignored. It's been ignored. That's why it's been dragged out. Okay. Yeah, you can't suffer like this anymore. Overall energy for the Tower in reverse. We have Page of Pentacles. Okay. Analyzation and learning from this. You're slowly, you're slowly realizing this, Aqua. It's a painful lesson, especially because it's like, Aqua, you know, you are a fixed sign. People forget that about Aquarians. That you guys are fixed. I know Aquas get that rap for being very flighty. Uh, when it comes to love and emotions but we are talking about a family issue here you know and it's like aquas when it comes to family you guys are so devoted you're so devoted and you're so loyal it's like family is really important to aquarians <clears throat> excuse me especially if there's been um you know part of that's been in your teaching since your childhood that family is important um but this shitster no mm-mm Stop giving your, more of yourself to this situation. Stop letting the situation be ignored. It's time to take care of it. And you know, you know, you know it's time to take care of it. I'm also getting something about news too. News. News. That's prompting you to really be like, okay, it's time. There's something, there's some kind of news for some of you that's prompting you to be like, okay, it's time. It's a tangible news. Something you might hear in I'm I'm actually seeing a crowd of people. That's interesting. I'm seeing a crowd of people. This could be at a gathering. Organic, this all could be work-related. But it's news that kind of makes you wake up to really understanding that this really has to come to an end. Um, Aqua, some of you are getting news about your health. And then it's like final straw. It's something like that. News about your health, final straw. I can't tell what kind of doctor it is, though. That's going to be different for everybody. Anyway, moving ahead. But like I said, you got your buddy. You got your buddy who's trying to be there for you, trying to uh, be that rock for you. Remember, Hermit always finds what? You, the star. They're always going to be there for you. Whoever this buddy is, they're very reliable and they're grounded. Oh, hmm. they usually are grounded. They're kind of going through a little bit of stuff, too, I'm picking up on. This shit stir has taken, taken a few bites out of this person. All of a sudden, I just saw a shark, uh, which I actually really love sharks. Sharks are really awesome creatures, by the way. I just have to say, I'm not going to nerd out because it's going to take too much time. Um, but mm, this hermit's had a few bites taken out of this shit stir too, which is why they're trying to be there for you. Very much trying to be that equal partner for you. It's really sweet. It's really sweet. I'm curious about this tower, and then we'll get into... The, then we'll get into the fat stack but i'm curious about this tower guys um let's look at the kipper deck let's use the kipper deck i'm tempted to use a deck i've been learning but i'm not i haven't learned all of it yet so i'm not gonna use it but for gemini i did have to pull out one of the cards for that reading sorry i ate lunch right before this my bad all right let's look at this tower Ooh, what is this tower moment for aquarius What is this tower moment for Aquarius? Oh, damn it. Marriage. Wait a minute. Who had this? Someone else had this today. Was it Gemini or Libra? I think it was Libra? No, Gemini. Shit. Now I can't remember. But one other sign had this attached to a tower. Watch all the air signs, guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, marriage. So this could be regarding your marriage, your partnership. Um, definitely at the core of a partnership. But like I said, this is a family issue that's rearing its ugly head. So again, Aqua, it's like this could be something on your side of the family or their side of the family. Tell me about the tower in reverse, but it definitely has a partnership at the root of it. Tell me about the tower in reverse. For some of you, family might be getting in between you and your your partner. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Pathway. 
35 with an energy of eight, which is a, a prosperous, excuse me, prosperous vibration. It's an abundant vibration. It's about um, su success, success. Think like CEO energy, but this has a timeline of two years. So this could be at the eight, tail end of two years or starting of two years, two year timeline on something going on here, but following your path to the end of the tunnel after some change and transformation. For most of you, I'm feeling it's the tail end of two years, like a, like a trial, like like a rough period of time. You're, okay, yeah, if, for the last two years, if you guys have been having a really rough time in your marriage or your partnership, even if it's business, um, of course, our love, even if it's business, that's coming to a close. That's coming to a close, but I feel like it's taken a lot of hits because of the shit stir here. Tell me about the tower in reverse. Hold on, peekers. Oh my, it's funny. I was like, oh, it could be work. And then we get the work card. Sudden wealth with the energy of 11. Great fortune. You got another eight, 26. And then occupation 34, being on your path. Being on your path. Occupation doesn't have to just be work. It could be the things that we have a lot of passion for, that we put a lot of energy and heart into. Aqua, you've put a lot into this partnership. Family. Hey, the family shit today, guys. Wow, air signs are going through it. Um, you put a lot of work into this union, you put a lot of work into this family, and it has paid off, even if you don't realize that yet. Again, this trial error, this trial, trial and error, oh, oh boy, trial and error period of two years, it's coming to a close. It's coming to a close. This shitster was the one that fucked some shit up, okay? Let's see what else we got here. You don't realize that. I, I feel like you guys are arguing with me. You don't realize that. Tell me about the tower in reverse. You will. You will. Time of the tower in reverse for Aquarius. All right. Huh. On the bottom side, we have main female, bad health, mature woman. Oh, and look, a false person. Here's your shit stirrer. Some of you, it's a mother. Straight up. Some of you, it's a matriarch of a family, a mother or a stepmother. Um, Grandmother, could it mean grandmother? Could it mean auntie? Just someone older, someone older. I'm getting the heavy matriarch here who is in a pretty bad state, okay? Look at this person. Look at your shitster. <laughs> All right, Aqua, look at this person. Do they look like someone who can be trustworthy? No. I'm getting bad mental state for the most part. Bad mental state, um, unhealthy relationships, inappropriate, inappropriate just came in. And false person, they always, always, oh, okay, they always have ulterior motives is what I'm getting. They always have ulterior motives. And definitely when it comes to you, whether you're a man or a woman, Aquarian, when it comes to you, they always have ulterior motives because they come from a very unhealthy mental state. Yeah, I knew something was wrong with this person. I'm trying really hard to not judge this person, but it's like their energy is so dark in such a toxic way. Ugh. Anyway, Aqua. That's what you've been dealing with. Um, and that has circulated around this tower energy. And I'm calling it more energy than an event because I feel like it's been almost like you haven't just had one tower because of this person. And for some of you, like I said, you already know there's a tower coming because you're at the end of your rope. Oh, wow. All right. So let's get into this last line <laughs> and then we'll get some advice for you here. Let me take, I like, I already forgot the cards over here. Let me take a peek. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is, this is you and your partner, you and your partner or some, you know, you and, and your buddy, you and your buddy, essentially. And again, it's a partnership of some kind. Doesn't mean you're married to this person. It's your, you and your buddy. It's you and your buddy. You two have definitely had some shit happen to you because of this shit stir, okay? And you two are reconciling and you're releasing yourself from this, this awful person. So first, let's start with this. Sun in reverse. I'm actually hearing darkness. There ain't no sun because of the shit stir. At least when the shit stir is around, there's definitely no light. There's no happiness. And then here's your energy with your person. The King of Cups, I do feel is your buddy. I feel like that's your buddy and I feel like you're coming across as a Knight of Cups. You could be an Aqua Piscean Cusper. Um, but either way, you two are coming together with love to mend all of the, the terrible um, things that have really damaged your connection, bruised your connection, all of the painful memories, horrible things that were said is also what I'm getting. D you said, said, 
for some of you, it is things that were done, but mostly it's said. Um, you two are coming together. You're closing the gap here, okay? You both have love for each other, deep love for each other, and, and a very seriously strong bond, all right? And it's like you two are both kind of like, okay, enough. White flag, enough, enough. And you're releasing yourself from the trickster, the shitster. Magician in Reverse is a trickster explicitly. And we know who the trickster is in here, don't we? And you're releasing yourself, okay? Releasing yourself from this person. It's actually really beautiful. It's like you two are finally just like, I feel like this, honestly, it's it's so specific, guys, I know. But this really feels like a couple who's dealt with a really toxic family member on either end. And again, a matriarchal kind of, kind of person. Um... For those where it's like you're doing this solo where you don't have a buddy, I st it is all about you finding your own strength to deal with this trickster, right? And reconcile your own feelings about it as you sort of wake up and try to heal from this and release yourself from their grip, you know, for those who don't have a buddy where it is just about relying on yourself. But even for that group, you have more people who support you than you realize, Aqua. But you don't want to ask for help. Oh, so Aquarian. <laughs> I love you guys, but that's so Aquarian. You don't want to ask for help. You don't want to burden anybody. But someone knows about your struggle. For those in that group, I can feel it. Someone knows about your struggle, even if you don't know it. And even if they don't tell you, they know. Wow. They're there for you in spirit if you really need them. But you can ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. I just, who did I say this to? Oh, I was in a live chat for a... Um, uh, Jason from Ray, Ray of Light Tarot. Check out his channel, guys. He's great. He's awesome. And someone was needing assistance, but they didn't want to ask. They didn't want to ask for it. And I think I said, like, you can never get help unless you ask. You got to ask. You can't always read people's minds, you know? But someone definitely knows something's up. But they, you know, they're, again, it's that keeping of the distance, a little periphery, because they feel like if they try to come in and help you, you're going to reject them or become a little defensive with them. And like I said, even those who have the buddy, it's like still a little bit of like a hands-off approach. Like, is my aqua okay? Oh, are they okay? They're okay. They're cool. Aqua? Oh, you're cool? Okay. <laughs> you know, it's a little hands-off, but it's very sweet. Either way, you both are conquering this shit, sir. And you're you're releasing yourself. You're not you're not gonna let them um you're not gonna let them have such a crazy heavy effect on you. And again, for some of you, this person is spiritually attacking you. And also I'm getting that this person's energy is very strong, very far reaching. So even if they're not actively trying to spiritually attack you, they inadvertently are because their energy is so strong and far reaching and so toxic that you feel it, that you can feel it on an energetic level and it's wreaking havoc on your body. Please, please, please. For those who are having some serious health issues, again, I was getting back, stomach, also, I was picking up on a, a lot of that sacral energy. Again, my condolences for anybody who's had a miscarriage. Um, that can't go on. That can't go on. Let's get some advice. God, Aqua, this was like, oh, this was dark. This was dark. All right, any advice for my Aquarians? And I know this is not for everybody, but clearly this is a situation that someone needed to hear this message. And clearly also because that shitster, that kind of energy that's around you, it's like, did not want me to get that message out. I mean, look at my energy from the beginning to the end. Very different, right? Very different. Any advice for my Aquarians <clears throat> regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Okay. Any advice for my... Oops. Oy. So short. <laughs> Ant spirit, time to collaborate. Call for help, Aqua. If you need help, ask for it. And this, for some of you, is a serious situation, guys, with the energy of one, collaborate. Ask for help. That's all that's about. <laughs> Ask for help when you need it. You've got a buddy right there. And for those who are doing the solo, you still have people who care about you. And again, for those who are doing the solo, there is someone who's very aware of what's going on, but they feel like they can't come in to help you because you won't allow them to. Ask for help when you need it. Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? 
Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Yeah, I mean, Aqua, for those where this buddy is a partner, like a spouse or a part, like a boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, you guys have such an amazing connection. And we, you saw those cards, great fortune, right? It's like great fortune, sudden wealth. That's really beautiful. That's a very special connection. Very special. Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Is the only advice to ask for help. <laughs> oh, Aqua, any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Aquarians regarding this spread? Yeah, you and your buddy, you guys really need to come together on this. For those who are not really doing that, you need to. Um, then we have, oh, nice, Grasshopper Spirit. Take the leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. Collabor more collaborative energy because it's a three. Um, which, anyway, sorry. Whoa, that was weird. I was about to get a download and it's like, yeah, whatever that energy is that's around you, Aqua, that's spiritually attacking some of you, that just came and interrupted my download. Like, no joke. So taking a leap of faith. Sorry, I'm annoyed. Um, trust. Trust that you can rely on your buddy. Trust that you can rely on your um, rely on your support system to get you out of this, to get you away from this shitster. God, if this is your own mother, I am so sorry. Um, but yeah, trust. Trust, trust, trust. It's okay to rely on others, Aqua, especially in this situation. It's cool to be the badass. It's cool to be the rebel. It is. That everyone needs help every once in a while. You got to trust that you can collaborate and that you can follow on this person. Overall, we have Crow Spirit. Co-create with Spirit. 17 breaking down to an 8 here. Another 8. Another 8, Aqua. Um, very awesome vibration to have. It is leading you down the road to success. Um, Spirit's also begging for you to, to work with them here. Um, Spirit's begging you to manifest with them. To listen to your intuition. To get away from this person. To get away from this energy. And to block this person's energy out of your life. Okay, and you're you're gonna do that with the help of spirit and with the help of your buddy, with the help of your hermit. Okay, wow, Aqua. I know it was hard to stick with me during this read because of all that crazy energy it was really distracting for me. Like literally, it seemed like it was trying to prevent me to get this message out to you. But I got the message out to you. You know who you're dealing with. Time to call for help. Even if it feels like you can't, call for help. There's no shame in that. We all need help every once in a while. Okay. Oh, Aqua, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you guys found this insightful and helpful. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon and check that out, along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later, okay? Good night, Aquarius. Namaste.